Hi everyone, today on Jesse's LEGO I'm going to be sharing with you my train station update as well as some updates to the elevated railway and Chinatown behind. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, I've been working on finally building my train station and I've been able to do so using that second bookshop that I bought. <laughs> Sorry, Hindi's getting in the way. Um, the second bookshop that I bought, primarily I bought it to build another um, painted lady style townhouse beside here, eventually substitute the bricks for purple so there's a nice colour contrast but I'd always intended to use the bookshop for parts for the train station. And yeah, for those viewers at home that would like to make this train station too, if you have a second bookshop laying around that you want to use for parts, you'll be able to do so. So there's a lot, um, lot of details to share with you, so let's jump right in. So one of my favorite parts about the Spring Lantern Festival is that um, it's kind of thrown a spanner in the works for all different parts of my town. Originally, I had the Parisian restaurant and the, um, the pet shop and the other brownstone here. But since getting the Spring Lantern Festival and moving it to this edge of the table, it's really opened up the nice view. And by extension, I didn't realize this at the time, but it means that the train station is perfectly unobstructed. So I get the best of both worlds with both of these views at the end of the table. Whereas previously, if I was to show you my train station, it would have to be at a specific angle looking down the track um Indy, what are you doing down the track instead of um as we've got at the moment so that's been really nice and it makes it easy to show you as well so the first thing about the train station is that it perfectly fits um perfectly fits two carriages whether that's the passenger train or the hogwarts express both of which i plan to add um yeah another carriage or so too but um it perfectly fits which is good uh, there's no compromises there and I actually built the train station in a modular design so, oops, forgot that fall off um, in a design similar to the modular buildings where it's stuck down with the tiles if you just want to have a quick look um, there's nothing underneath to help support them but the way that I built the um, the supports was that there's the studded tiles so it can easily come on and off I had tried building the train station directly onto the platform and you know, there was no give. I just kept bumping everything all the time. Indy, come back please. I kept bumping um, everything all the time. So now this comes on very easily and comes off easily. And it's not the most attractive underneath, but it helps support the platform. So what we have behind here as well is I've finished the uh, staircase. Let me move that. I finished the staircase behind and this part here comes off as well for easy access. So we've just got, um, I've used telescopes going up the stairs and the fancy black fencing which I'd like to replace everything else with eventually. So it's just a nice arched staircase to make use of um, all this extra space in Chinatown at the moment. Yes, yeah, someone can't sit still while we're filming, wants to be in on all, all the action. So I've opened up um, underneath Chinatown as well. I had closed that off previously. I'm hoping to put another um, one of the market stands in the tunnel there, maybe with some seating for dining. But at least we've got the L-shaped staircase in for now. And that means, oh, oops, people can get up, um, can get up to the platform. Mm -hmm. And previously over here, I had um, a doorway going in and I was going to run the stairs on the inside of each one coming up somewhere around here on the platform, but that didn't quite work out. So the stairs at the back is the best, um, the best solution for that for now. And I've just closed off that area downstairs. So I was losing a lot of pieces in there as well. It was, it was actually quite frustrating. So I'm glad to, i um, glad to say I'm not using that part anymore. Yeah, I'll go into details in just a moment, but um, this yellow line, if it looks ugly, yes, I think it's quite ugly too. Um, I would like to make this white like the rest of the trim, but I just ran out of white pieces. But for all intents and purposes, it's the safety line that, you know, many figures are supposed to know not to cross because of the train. So I'll share with you some of the um, details of the platform in just a second. Uh, so our intruder is still here. Hopefully he'll give me some space in a moment to talk about the train station. Oh, there we go. So it's a simple but effective design. Um, I only had six studs to work with, so that's been one of the biggest inhibitors to me actually making a train station the whole time um, that I've had the elevated railway, was 
how can I properly execute this in such a narrow station? But what we have here is the design now where I've got four benches and we've got the fancy little bench design up here. We've got the subway tiles in sand green, which I got from pick a brick. So um, the gold railing and the um, sand tiles are some of the few things that don't come with the bookshop. But for the most part, all the medium nougat bricks, the white windows, the clock tower, um, the red roof, this all came with the bookshop. So um, yeah, you can make something very similar if, if you have a spare from that set too. Okay, so looking at the back now, I've put a little um, awning over so that when people are coming up the, um, the double staircase, they've got some protection from the weather if it's wet. Um, these pieces here, the gold ones, I will be substituting them for the black fancy fencing, like over there, like over there um, to help break up the colour scheme. Additionally, we have these things in um, Brisbane and Queensland called go-card terminals where you, where you tap your... Um, it's not a credit card, but it's like a transport card. You, tra you tap your transport card when you get to the platform and it saves paper tickets. So I thought I'd build the same sort of thing in here. So people come up the stairs, they tap their train ticket, and they can get on the train, no worries. Um, these are just placeholder bricks at the back. I do need to order a lot of black bricks, some more black arches for this side too, um, the roof and everything else. So the roof isn't done, but for the most part, the base is done. And um, these windows here, I've always liked the design of the windows that have that kind of factory look to them with um, the archway at the top, and that lets light through to the back as well. But I do want to replace this clock face here, which I'd made with uh, the same one that's on top of Town Hall, which is a bit more elegant. I did test it in here. I did test it in there earlier, and it, it looked really quite nice. Um, so I'm hopeful to be able to order them if they still exist and they're not a retired part. We also have the uh, industrial lamps on the columns here and um, I'm looking at creating some decorations for the platform like a vending machine and maybe some potted plants but if you have any suggestions for what to, um, yeah, what to add to the platform I would love to hear them because right now I've only got a vending machine and potted plants but yeah definitely looking for some more decorations to take from uh, a simple design to something a bit with a bit more detail. Yeah, so there'll be another clock on the back and I think that just about covers it for the train station. Thank you for watching my uh, train station and elevated railway update video. Um, I hope to, <laughs> so Indy thanks you too. I hope to um, be able to place a parts order soon and finish that and then share with you the finished design but with a little bit of imagination, hopefully you can imagine exactly how it looks on the left being on the right as well. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. It helps my videos reach more adult fans of Lego and teenage fans of Lego and any fans of Lego on YouTube. And um, yeah, thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Say goodbye, Indy. You gonna say goodbye? Goodbye. See you later. <laughs>